Hey guys, so in this video we're going to have a look at how to calculate the surface area of a hemisphere. So remember that when we're talking surface area, surface area is the amount of area which the shape has and we can generally think about it as the amount of area that touches the air. So it's area or space on a shape that touches the air. Space that touches air and it's a two-dimensional concept. So this is in the two dimensions. So we've looked at how to calculate the surface area of a sphere. What we're going to look at now is how to calculate the surface area of a hemisphere. So a hemisphere is just a sphere which has been chopped in half and it has, I guess, two faces. So it's got these two faces and the faces which it has are this round face where uh, it used to be uh, the top half of the sphere and then it's got this new flat part on the bottom so it would have a flat part under here which looks just like this so it's got a perfect circle on the bottom where it has been cut and we call this the cross-sectional uh, this is the cross-sectional area so it's got this original part of the sphere and then this cross-sectional area so remember that with a sphere we have the center point and then any um, line we draw from the center to the edge is the same distance and we call this line the radius. So we, I'll denote it as R and it's equal to the radius. So when we cut the sphere in half we have a circle on the bottom, the cross section of this sphere at the center is a circle, so a line from the center to the edge is going to be the radius and that would go the same for any line which we chose to draw around the um, from the center to the edge is going to be the radius. So if we want to work out the surface area of a hemisphere we have to do it in two parts. So firstly we need to work out the area of this uh, curved part, curved face, and then we need to work out the area of the cross section and then we add them together. For this shape we have half of a sphere. So we remember that the surface area of a sphere was equal to 4 multiplied by pi multiplied by the radius squared, where pi was just this mathematical constant that we had denoted as this Greek letter, and pi was equal to 3.14. So we're calculating this surface area here, doing it in two parts. The first part is we need to calculate the surface area of this external part or this rounded face. So we know that the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared but we only have half of that area, right? Because we have cut away the bottom half and we've basically got rid of it. So that part which we used to have we've got rid of. So what we need to do is we need to halve this amount here. So we can do that at the start or at the end but what we say is that the area of the sphere is going to be the area of this hemisphere, this rounded part, is it going to be one half of four pi r squared and we can multiply that inside the brackets and we get the result that the area of this rounded part is going to be equal to two multiplied by pi times by the radius squared. And if we have a radius of, say, 3 meters in length, so we let our radius equal 3 meters, then we can work out that the surface area of this external component, this rounded component, is 2 times pi times by our radius squared, so 3 meters squared. And that is going to give us 56.548 because of our units, our units will be meters squared. Next we need to work out the area of our cross section. So we've already worked out the area of our uh, rounded face, we need to work out the area of our cross section. So for the circus surface area, not circus area, of a circle, we know that the area is going to equal to pi times by the radius squared. So the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. 
we know that pi is a constant, so it's always 3.14, and our radius squared is going to be 3 meters squared. The surface area of our circle is going to be pi times 3 meters squared, and that will come out to give us 28.274 meters squared. So we've got the area now of our two faces. Now the area of this rounded part is 56.54 and the area of, of the bottom is 28.274 meters squared. So all we need to do in order to calculate the total surface area of our hemisphere is we add together 28.27, which is the area of our cross section. We add that to the area of our rounded part, which is 56.54 um, yep, meters squared and that is going to give us approximately 84 point something meters squared. So the total surface area of our hemisphere is going to be the area of our rounded part plus the area of our cross section which is on the bottom there. And that is how you work out the surface area of a hemisphere. I'll put some examples out or how you might encounter these.